Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're still on the trail of the stolen ship. And we're going in to have a conversation with a well-known ship thief. Yeah, been here. Remember this place. Excuse me, your grace early. A free star ranger and his what are you? A sidekick or something? Uh something like that, yeah. And that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Okay. Uh... I just need some information. This could help save lives. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Uh... I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger, and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Uh... They were mercenaries who threatened a woman to get her farm. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. No, nope, I get that too. questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, uh, I guess I didn't. There's still time to make this right. Please help me. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. Whoa. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Okay. Did she say why she needed the ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. Personal space! Okay, uh, did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Okay, uh, go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh... Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed. Given how well they paid me. Okay, uh, did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Okay, uh... Uh... Now, nah, the men, we've already figured out, so... 
That's all I need for now. I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. You're free. Thanks for your help. Yeah, thanks for your help. I'm not gonna complain too much about jacking ships. I've jacked a few of my own in my time. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Well. What's up? We can be impolite if need be, but. Priorities. Be okay. Out there. I will. I'm going to head back to my ship. Let's see if I can get off this rock without getting too distracted. Hello. If it's too hot to handle, we can take it off your hands. Now nah, I'm looking to buy. Actually, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, anything interesting? No. Miscellaneous, just some digi picks. Wow, you, you really have nothing. Thank you very much for your time. Time to move on. I guess that's a hint to Keep get going. Moving. Okay. Bye guys. Bye guys. <sighs> Typical day. It's an ocean planet, I guess rain is just all part of the deal. Hello Vasco. We're off again. Hello, Captain. Need something cheap? Nope. We're taking off. As usual. Hopping around the galaxy, burning fuel. Time to join the stars. Let's go ahead and, well, you know what? Easy. Back to Cheyenne. It's funny, it feels like I just left. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, you're good. Then let's get down onto the surface, and of course, middle of the night. Might work to our advantage finding this guy to get this slate decrypted. Oh, never mind. Morning. Let's find Alex. He should be in the rock. Problem? Nope. Except for the streets are a little muddy. You know, guys, you could dig some drainage or something. A 
lot of famous people. Hello, hello. Uh. Better this than being some dust rain. Yeah, we've already had that little conversation. Let's see if I can find just the person I'm looking for. Deputy. Yep, and I've got a little puzzle for you. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, uh... What's stopping you from traveling to Neon? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Okay, well, uh, I don't really care for it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Yep, I've got a slate here. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. That sounds oddly familiar. Um, how long will it take to break the encryption? It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. Well, one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. Got it. Yep, no problem. Uh, I'm counting on you. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please and thank you. Okay. Uh, not this way. That came in this way. Let's go tell the boss. Hello, Let's hello. Talk for a minute. Yep. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Uh, I was able to track down the thief. With uh, Ranger Price's help, yeah, I want to give a good word in on him. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Okay, uh... Thank me when I've taken down the first. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a Ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well, uh... Maya Cruz and Marco, two high-ranking people, I got their names. Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Uh... What can you tell me about her? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. All right, and who's Marco? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. Okay, uh... I'm gonna need some information to track them down. Like what? Uh... Marco's kept his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. 
Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Got it. Uh, and uh, where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. That's they the also space station, right? Privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Got it. That's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Understood. Okay, so... Yeah. This is... pretty much exactly what I was kind of expecting as soon as I saw who those guys were. Excuse me. You're excused. Hello, goodbye. Hey, up there, deputy. Huh? Okay, so we have to... I think I might hit the clinic first. Think of it as sort of a uh, captive target. If she's in there for treatment then I doubt I'm going to have a lot of shooting. That is if... Well, the clinic is in... is in Freestar space, so the badge will hold some weight if I need to do some questioning. Hello. How can I be of service, Captain? Just hop on board. We're taking off. Skipper. Hello. We're taking off, guys. Buckle up. We're clear. I don't know. Stable orbit achieved. All right. Okay, let's figure out where we're going first. Go to the clinic. That's Here's what I thought. Forever. Well, for a while anyway. are going to You've entered the clinic space. Please dock or leave the area clear for incoming patients. No problem. We'll dock. Do I want to get closer and get a good look at the place? Oh, it's friendly so I don't need to get in and get a tactical peek so I'm not suspecting any trouble ship is now on dock all right let, let's head in Didn't even smudge the paint. hey Vasco keep an eye just the courier I understand that I'm not blaming you directly dr. Salvato how long have you been here uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. 
I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Mm. Sounds like an issue was stolen. If people would stop poking their noses into every unexploded biome in the galaxy, perhaps we'd it's have a little less work. I literally I really can't get here any faster. But I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Oh, Jesus. Everybody talking at once. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to run. Uh, th I think this person I need to talk to... We Not have... Exactly oh, hot. I am Criminal really s here. sorry about that. Well, that suits me fine. Here, I'll take that out of your lap, because I can sell it. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Now, great, that'll save us both some time. Uh... Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead. Pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Uh, she had some kind of ur urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every Ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. All right. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge. Oh, temptations, temptations. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that oh. is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard, or... Hardly working. <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. Mind you stay. Thank you very much. Hello, Ari. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. No problem. Uh, interesting, the person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier named Maya Cruz. Former soldier, huh? Uh, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Uh... Uh... No, not really. I only know it required a long hospital stay and sounded pretty urgent. That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Keep your nose clean. The last thing I want is to charge you for a Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz, come on. Give me a second. On Maya. 
I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for Amaya Cruz. Okay. All I see are numbers. I'll put this away. Just wanted to get a better view of the database. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias, which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Duh. see there must be someone who fits her description at least partially yeah let me think for a second all right hang on i know that we do have a few female patients staying with us there's candace what's her last name doolin candace doolin and then there's the nakamori woman i think her name's jane i don't recall offhand what they're here for but it's a start Uh, I'll talk to the patients. Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. Yeah, I'm not going to try tracking down a hacker. That's not my thing. It feels like no. I've been waiting forever. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. It's spreading like a virus. I have two patients here. Oh, this one is problem. Pain's finally starting to get a little more manageable. Why, hello. hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Yeah, it's, uh... How terribly inconsiderate of them. It certainly is. But I might as well be back home with my husband. He's just as bad, always too busy to talk. That man couldn't sit still and listen if his life depended on it. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Uh... I need to ask you some questions. You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, sore back, digestive problems, and then in all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Uh... You've been here for three months? Pretty sure I have. But you lose track of time real easy in here. All I've got is these white walls to stare at and nobody to talk to. Makes the days feel... Oh, just about endless. Mm. So you didn't need emergency surgery? Well, no, I, I suppose not. At least not yet. But don't be surprised if I do. Once they figure out this alien parasite or virus or, or whatever it is that's gotten into me. Uh, one second thought. Forget the questions. I think we're done here. Oh, so you're going to leave just like that? I thought the high and mighty Free Star Rangers were supposed to help others in need? You ask me. I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Well, go on then. 
Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. No, no, they didn't mean it like that. Now I feel bad. Uh, Ranger? Let's check her. Excuse me. What gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Uh... very sorry to disturb you. I just need a moment of your time. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Uh... I just gathering some information. What brought you to the clinic? Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Ooh, uh... I think there's more to your story. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion. Much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, Deputy. I just need information. Nothing will ever connect back to you. Maybe. Need to think about it. Uh. There's no reason for us to have problem, is there? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Hmm. What's the harm if you tell me? I wish I could, but if anybody found out I'd told you... <laughs> I can see that you still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Okay. Let me run back and ask him again. Hey, how'd it go? Did you have any luck? Uh, if there's the one person, uh, I have some follow-up questions about those patients. Okay, shoot. Uh, Ms. Stulen said she's been here for months and never had surgery. Is that true? Yep. She practically lives here. I gotta think the money's gonna run out sometime soon, though. It's kind of sad, really. She clearly wants attention and someone to talk to. Just between us? I get the feeling that things with her husband aren't great. And, uh, the other lady, was she rescued from her ship a couple days ago? The courier? Yeah, that's right. It was real touch and go there for a while. She was lucky to pull through. Okay, well that's all I needed. I made some progress digging through the patient records and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Okay, uh... I thought the Rangers could go anywhere in Free Star Space. Yeah, well, I don't think the doctors here care all that much about where the Rangers are supposed to go. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. All right. <sighs> well, you look like I work here, right? Couple of patients didn't seem to think so. Uh -huh. Spare access card. Jesus, did you pigs lying around everywhere? I don't need one of those though. I don't need a desktop organizer. 
Ooh, I wonder if it's in the safe. If I do that one, and then this one, this one, and then I'm guessing this and this. I'll take this, I'll take this, this med pack. Oh, that's not bad. Wing card. Okay, uh, give me one second. I mean, I like my Power Ranger. It's 326. This is only 233, but it would have a higher fire rate, and I wouldn't have to recharge it. But yeah, I still think this is better. It does use a 50 caliber, but I mean, I have plenty of ammo for this, so. It's still nice. Um, sorry, it was just checking about a meeting. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't take anything. Don't take anything. At least I was able to slightly satiate my uh, needs with that one safe. And if these guys are harboring a fugitive... Oh, whoa! Whoa, what's going on? Okay, something's definitely going on. Uh... No, no... Yeah, I think this. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, oh, the toilet paper. Not here for loot. What's... If there's blood... And dead people... Something's going on. She knows I'm here, does it? doesn't she? Whoa! Oh my gosh, she put mines. She put mines. She's urgent. Read immediately. The rangers are on to us. They're going to find you. And when they do, the alias won't protect you. The best is to hunker down somewhere safe. Okay, uh. You don't have much time. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, so we know what's up. She, she placed mines and she killed one of her doctors. I don't have one of those. Um, I shouldn't be bothering with stuff right now. She killed the doctor. The VIP doc. She had a ship here waiting. And she's already skedaddled. Oh yeah. She's ran. Sorry. I, it's just... It's, it's painful. I have to... Take... Something... Before my head explodes. Um... Oh boy. Yeah, she... She took off. I don't, I'm not going to steal food as much as I want to. No, 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 no. No stolen goods. Let's just... She had a ship docked at the VIP lounge. She's already taken off. She's running. Uh... If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Uh-huh. Okay, he, he's gone. I'm not going to talk to him right now. I got to get here before this. Uh... Running this facility is a challenge. Come on, Vasco. Let's get on the ship. Uh, 
Alright, let's fall down and go back up the stairs. Um, yeah, she's on the run. We gotta catch up to her. <sighs> yep, this is gonna take a bit of time. <sighs>